whether John could perform police duty. <coughs> and based on the information he's provided us, he can't. So it's okay then to change it, and you're saying, well, if we're going to change it, we bring him along. <coughs> right? Isn't that what your argument is, basically? Yeah. Right. Well, that's what I don't understand. If, if I know that your and, your and Clint's main goal is you're afraid that John's not going to qualify, but... No, what started all this, Katie, was when there was discussion to change the job description before we adopted the rules. We have job descriptions in place. Right. All we've said is, if we're going to do this, let's maintain the job descriptions that are in place and follow the civil service rules. This has to... Okay. And if for some reason we do this, and at some point in time down the road, John suddenly isn't qualified to do this this role anymore, then we can address that issue when, when that hurdle is crossed. But right now, based on everything that we've reviewed, because I don't take doing something like this lightly. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to do this, because I asked, I go, are there any performance issues with the person currently holding the position? No, absolutely not. Okay, so my fear is, is that if we do something and it turn, gets turned into a political firestorm and it turns into something that it was never intended to turn into, then someone who has no performance issues and wouldn't otherwise lose their job for cause could potentially lose their job because we're sitting here and we're monkeying with language and stuff that would impose rules and, and force action that doesn't need to happen when our current rules would provide for a smooth transition. We're not even we're not even addressing the job description. We just it's just a code thing to put back in the city. But you can't do it without addressing that. Well, if you want to determine what the impact and that the overall right. impact is going to be. Yeah, that will come before I think does that come before council before it goes to the school service or I have to read up on that again. I believe it does. So that's something that still can be obviously talked about. How we Bring it up to workshops and have whether we need to change the job exactly or come up with a new job description. Right, it's already here. Exactly, right. I think mm -hmm. that this does need to go to workshops. Okay, one other thing to bear in mind, you know, Richard made the statement that since we're down a sergeant and so forth, so then the chief could per perform some of these duties. The only way the chief could perform some of these duties is only in emergency cases, because if you don't do that, you're you're stepping outside your union yeah, contract. Right. And, that, and the other were they like to talk to us that if you're yeah. doing the job then of a union employee and you're not you are stepping outside right. your exactly. contract. Exactly, but it's right. also nice to know that in some kind of an emergency situation that that, that the person can back up. And he can do that right now. He has all the commissions and everything else. He can do that later. He doesn't. Right, I saw your letter. I mean, he doesn't have to have the part. Okay, so you have the ability to, Gail is out doing an arrest and something bad happens and you get the call because you're the only one around. You can go down and... I back him up. I'm sorry, you what? I back up officers. I need backup. If I'm in my office, I'm just in the radio. I hear a call come out. And it's a backup. I go. I'm always armed. My wife's got my police stuff on. But I can do that. I'm a police officer. He's got a siren. He's got lights. His vehicle is equipped as a pursuit vehicle. This is almost, I mean, if you look at it on face value, it's, it's more of a change to put the position back as it was back long ago. Like I said, to be, and I know it doesn't matter to you, but it matters to the mayor and some of, I think, some of the council members that a chief is a chief and a police director is somebody that needs to manage both fire and police. And, you know, it's just part of what you do to clean up all the departments. And I think she's told you that, too. So I don't care. Well, my question. I mean, that was the intent. We had this discussion when I first brought it up that if this can be done without harming anybody, then why don't we do it? And we've done all the homework. Okay, my question is going to be directly to you. Is there a 
Vic said that 40% of your daily duties, or of your job duties, are, um, yes. What, what you're the one who knows what you do every day. So how, what percentage of your day is spent on emergency management? Are you certified for emergency management? Or is there such a qualification? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you have training for emergency management. If the White River flooded, or if the train crashed, or, 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 we're good to go. We call John and you say this is the plan. And He's the head of the ULC. Exactly, I understand that. But I'm just saying, if you had said 40% of his job Duty. And the job description that claims a 40% of the job. And that's left over from Rich Hilder. Not civil service. Civil service for the job. He just said it was quite well, well. number. Rich picked the number. Rich helped them. Rich went to a bunch of classes. But you've got all your NIMS training, okay. right? NIMS 700, NIMS 100, NIMS 200, probably three and 400 as well. I mean, that's your certification for emergency management. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it's basically how to function in their process so that you know how to fill the paperwork to get your disaster claims in and get money back to your jurisdiction properly. I mean, that's what a lot of the training boils down to. That meant you can work within the uh, command structure for emergencies. I would say that what really spurred this thing was when the statements were made that we go to police chief and it would be at a lesser salary, and we would save money. <clears throat> that is saying that you're going to either have the present person that's in that position take a decrease in pay, or you are going to advertise it out in the market, and everybody has to reapply for a new position, and it's going to be at a lesser pay rate. rate. Now, so you're telling me that you're not attacking somebody, but yet you are putting out there in print that you're going to have a decrease in expense because you're going to the name of police chief. Where do we say that? It was in the fifth Leanne's paperwork. Yeah. It was in her stuff to council yeah. okay. when this came up at council. So that's I, what explained it. So <laughs> I thought it was a wash. But that's I thought what, it was a wash. No, that's what, what caused it? the discussion <laughs> was it stated that if we go to a police, we're looking into going, it was in her summit, yeah. if we go to a police chief position and we fill that position, we, we possibly get it at a lower rate or a lower um, cost to the city. And as soon as you make that statement, the assumption is, is well, you're assuming we're going to either force them to take a cut right. of pay or we're right. going to get or rid of them. Okay. Okay. That's how, that, I that's I how this got it. turned into John Calkins could right. be losing his job over right. this versus just looking at the position and doing it <coughs> what we want to okay, see. Okay, right. I don't remember seeing that part. Can you tell me, was there, there an amount of, of pay in the No, it was, just, it was a blanket statement. Oh, you know, we okay. Could, we could see a reduction in cost. But the only other person is any line. Well, it, it wouldn't be in the ordinance. Well, the new ordinance? I read the agreed cap. Did you have any more? The new yeah. ordinance? I mean, the cover page is doing it itself. Can you read that out loud, Vic, or um, Richard? Can you find it? Yeah, I have Here it. Here it is. Salary for the chief of police position will be presented for the council's consideration as part of the 2015 budget and is anticipated to be less than the current public safety director position. That statement's what got all of this. Okay, yeah. So, where are you on that? The cover page. It's just page one. Dan yeah. Geyer and yeah. city council members established on the chief. <coughs> right, so where is it? In here. Right in the middle. It's the last one. Yeah. I think. Must have been in this. Because uh, I know the cover page was put together by <laughs> the attorney, but I don't remember that part. But anyway, yeah, I see your point. And we did make the budget with the full salary in there. Mm -hmm. With your full salary. And we did.
decision maker by you would be heading as public safety director. Right. Right. So for that, for that well, that's one thing I want to have clarified then, is I want to know what the what that's going to be. Well, I think it'd be good to. I mean, well, and 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 right. that. I mean, I I looked at some some comparability. Uh, Richard gave me some comparability and. Some of the numbers were apples to oranges, but if you do an apple to apple comparison and you look at just the base wage and take benefits out, assuming that you would pay your police chief, any police chief coming in at a minimum, the same benefit package that we offer the police officers, if not right. what we offer our directors, um, then, you know, those costs set aside, they're a fixed cost for the city and really don't have anything to do with it. So you look at the base wage and, and the base wage. There's several. I mean, you look at cities that are similar to us. Black Diamond is a good example. You know, they they're, pay high. They're, they're, they pay up there, and their tax base isn't really a whole lot stronger than ours. Um, and uh, even Duval pays yes. pays more than we pay in a base wage. Now, the thing is, is when you're looking at benefits, one thing that we that uh, John negotiated with a previous council probably <coughs> several years ago. Um, must have been more than seven years ago because he hasn't had an increase in seven years from what I'm hearing. Uh, the money that, because he has his own health care and provides it himself and he uh, has his own retirement plan already established, rather than contributing to the left retirement plan on his behalf and contributing to a health care package, they just come up with a fixed number that uh, that they would pay someone else, and it, I don't think it's quite equal to what they would pay someone else, but they pay him that um, <coughs> stipend, monthly stipend, and and that's why it, when you look at total cash out of pocket for the city, it looks like he's paid high, but it's not because that stipend is benefit. And if we brought another police chief in, I think it would be hard pressed to get one to accept less than uh, the $9,000 a month, which we have already established in the low range. Um, and that's what John is. He's paid at the low range, and and then once you factor in left two benefits um, and health care, it's going to be more than what we're paying John in this current position, in my opinion, to get a quality post year. They offer that as you said, they might indeed that it might be some of it. Most recent contract I went for him, I think, started seven, eight, eight somewhere. Years. Yeah, I know the last one, the most recent, I think, was seven, and then it was supposed to go for three years, and then nothing has been done since then, right? Any other
Yes. And the current public safety director performed function of an officer. The answer is based on attorney Tom Street and no. Well, my police commission takes precedence over John Street and I'm obligated. If I see a crime coming up, I call it in or I do something about it. And so the answer is yes. That's the state of the law. It's not a good thing, though, yes. Well, if I can interject, the police chief's job description isn't any different than what the public safety director's job description is as far as that goes. Okay, so your answer is yes and not no? Yes.
this was all from an insurance agent? Well, not an agent. He's not, he's not an agent. He's he was there. It's a risk management pool. Yeah, he's the risk manager of the whole pool. And I'm not sure he was the only one. It might have been also with Roger. You remember the guy who, who presented to us at the retreat? He was involved. So I'll talk with Leanne about that to verify the authenticity of this. But again, we're getting off track. It's that we're not even to that point. The point of because I agree with you that mayors come and go, and some of them don't exactly keep straight. You've seen that. You guys have seen that here before. I've seen it in my experience. Um, nevertheless, they have to say who goes and comes. And this is not about any of that. This is about the job description. And not just, excuse me. This is about the job of police chief being back in the city, and that's what this started. It. And then it got well, into. Well, I understand that, but this this I is know. something that has that the mayor felt needed to be addressed. Right. I know. I and agree. now we're having, you know, questions on. Yeah, the accuracy. The accuracy of it. Thank I guess. you. The yeah. accuracy of all of this, which doesn't give me a warm fuzzy. Yeah. 